Hey, what's going on? Here I am without a tripod again. So, don't get dizzy. Um, <clears throat> so I'm gonna clean this Molly 2 rucksack. You can see here, this stuff's kinda got stuff caked all over. So we'll take a look at uh, the results. So hopefully I can edit two videos together. Now you know I don't really do too much uh, editing anyway but um, <clears throat> that kind of depends on if there's a free one that I haven't used yet because I, I, I refuse to pay money for this stuff I don't get any money for doing these videos anyway but just take a look here I mean this stuff is just kind of filthy um, Some of the products I've been using lately, or the product I've been using lately, has been Spray 9. And so I'm not su supported by Spray 9 or whatever company makes this. But um, this works great on nylon, I found, because it'll help kill odors. Um, on hard surfaces, it also works on mold and mildew. And from the smell of these things, it smells like it's uh, mil mildew. Um, it's going to be some difficult places to uh, clean it, so I'm going to I'm going to have to open up this pocket and clean inside of there, and then treat it um, because this stuff has like a rubberized coating on it. If you can see it here. That tells me that that's probably mildew, right? So I'm gonna have to clean this surface and it'll help abate most of that smell. Then I'm gonna use concrobium. And so this is just like a, a salt-based um, water. And the reps will even drink this in front of you just to show you how safe this stuff is. But there's no bleach or anything like that. And so the salt crystallizes and then it'll kill and prevent mold, mildew, and stuff like that, uh, fungus. So, um, but that's, that's, the, that's what I'm going to do after this thing has dried up. Then I'm going to saturate with this to help prevent this thing from again now some of the pieces here are new but they still stink because they're still got that coating in there and uh, we'll see what the results look like um, this is a lot of work and I'm not sure if it's really worth it or not I don't even, I don't even know if I'm going to keep this uh, bag or not but I wanted to show you some of the things that I do to uh, clean. All right, what's going on? Here's another video. It's kind of a two for because I'm doing two videos on one day and I usually do one maybe every week at the most. But um, I'm trying to finish up my uh, cleaning and I'm gonna try to edit this if not there might be two separate videos but um, I started a video where I was washing this uh, Molly 2 um, woodland camouflage rucksack um, I don't have the frame here but the frames you know in my garage that's really easy to clean um, because it's uh, made out of a polymer thing so I just hose it off using soap and a brush clean that up pretty quick um, more specifically though um, the dirtiest or bag nasty which is kind of marine term bag nasty this thing was bag nasty so this thing was just caked with grime um, with dirt and a bunch of stuff both on where it's against your body and on the outside a lot of accumulation um, now I did buy this from Ammo Can Man 
the whole thing was $99 after a 10% discount and that's available to anybody. Um, obviously I don't get any uh, benefits from Ammo Can Man for showing you this, but you can get it. The only gripe I'd have is this is uh, a Molly 1 or original Molly, not a Molly 2. So what's the difference um, with a Molly 2? This pad will extend about twice as wide here where this pad is. So this thing folds up and, molds and mounts onto the rucksack. Um, if I decide to use this shoulder strap with uh, an Alice pack, I don't think it's going to be that big of a, a deal. Plus, I don't really like a lot of padding because that's where I sweat. So when I wear rucksacks, <laughs> I'm always sweating where something's hitting, my, hitting me. So I think in some ways this thing is going to end up um, benefiting me being a little bit smaller. Although I think I may try to sell this set. Now I did spend considerable time cleaning this thing up so it wasn't just you know hey he sent it to me and it's great no it stunk like mildew that smelled terrible I mean you could hear you could smell it from you know 20 feet away or more um, and I even put it inside of my uh, vehicle because I was going to the park so I thought I'd air it out in the park and it just still smelled inside of my vehicle um, but you can see here if I'm able to splice in that other video you can see that this thing is very clean now just using a nylon brush I was using the uh, cleaners that I showed you like kids and pets and also um, spray nine um, now this one, because it's got foam inside of here, as well as the belt, it kind of absorbs a lot of stuff. That's also where mildew or other odors can be in there. This thing sound, uh, smells pretty ready to wear. I mean, there I'd say 95% of the odor is gone. There's still a distinct smell, but it's not. You know, the poo poo uh, mildew smell. But that's where I spent the most work is on this and the waist belt. There is still a little stain on there. I may be able to clean it out. There's a little bit of wear on here. But these things are in great condition. There's no tears or anything like that. Um, and hopefully you can see that. Um, the main bag was not too bad, but I mean, anytime you feel stuff in storage for a long time, there's a lot of dust and dirt and stuff that's accumulating on here. So I would say that this thing looks really good, you know, like immaculate. It's, it's almost, almost like brand new. So some of these components were, were used harder. Obviously this, because this is older, this is generation one Molly. And so it's been around in circulation. Who knows how long it's been used. Same with the belt. No matter if, if they've been used, no matter what, the belts and the shoulder straps are going to be um, bag nasty or terrible. Um, you can see here the work that I've done to clean that up. But you still get accumulation on here, so they don't really pop out. I think this is popping out now with these, it's the same bags, there's a couple of Mars on here, or fading, I don't really care, it's not that big of a deal, but it looks better than before, some of these components are like almost brand new, here's a radio bag, um, this thing was not bad at all, but it stunk like, um, yeah, it stunk like shit, but I did clean it up. I let it air out in the sun. 
spend uh, you know two or three hours cleaning up this whole thing not including all the time where it's sitting there in the sun I don't really count that so much to clean this because I didn't have to do any physical work but uh, airing it out will help kill any mildew which seems to accumulate on this uh, waterproofing rubberized yeah, I don't know if it's, I'm thinking it's probably silicone, but I don't know. I have no idea. I don't know what they used on it. But um, that's where the stuff seems to accumulate because there's no, you can't breathe there. And so then mildew is attracted to it. But that's my own personal opinion. I'm not a scientist. <laughs> but uh, anyway. That's all I've got for you. If you guys got some comments or questions, I will respond as soon as I can. Thanks for watching.